So, Justin, dude, <laughs> first time anybody's seen you on the bike, because you haven't posted anything, right? No, I've only ridden, like, turn track for a week, and, well, I should, shouldn't lie, right? I rode three days turn track, and then the fourth day, I was like, I can't do turn track. Really? If it's, I was like, told my doc doctor, I was like, are you so we good? I, like, he's like, oh, just take it easy. I'm like, yeah. I did take it easy, missed the big jumps, and uh, <laughs> but then uh, beginning of this week, I kind of started getting after it. And, yeah, That's cool. Yeah, it's going all right. It's how, like fifth day, I think, so. How long officially was it off the bike? I don't know. Uh, man. It was what? Nashville. Nashville, was that Nashville? Yeah, so Nashville, and then I rode one day um, when I was feeling healthy, Yeah. and then the next day, I had to go the day after. Well, one day, and then another day, I had to go get surgery again because the infection broke the plate yeah it was yeah it was it's been a just a freak thing but obviously everything happens for a reason it was a shame that i couldn't go race outdoor season because it's having fun supercross but yeah like i said everything happens for a reason and uh i'm just grateful to be back on a bike now for it's sure nice. for sure what uh like what caused the infection what caused the broken plate because yeah so pretty much it was feeling really good like when you put a plate on it's good, like yeah. you, you should be good. So we were like, waited like three weeks and we're like, all right, let's start ramping up. I was getting after it, yeah. feeling good, mountain bike. And then I was like, all right, I'm gonna ride a dirt bike. And then I woke up that night and was like in excruciating pain. So I went to the doctor and he's like, yeah, it, the plate broke. And we are like, couldn't understand why because a plate shouldn't break. Yeah. It was like out of screw and it just like broke right there. So anyways, did the next surgery, did like a culture to see, make sure. Cause he was like, this isn't, something's not right. Yeah. So he, uh, yeah, like a week later after the second surgery, it came back infection. So pretty much what happened was the infection was where it was supposed to be healing. The bone was moving and that's flex, flex and moving the plate. And yeah, something, up, something had to give. Picking up the baby too much or, cause like it shouldn't break, right? Like, well, no, so the, just then, it wasn't he it just wasn't healing for three and a half weeks gotcha. and i pretty much after the first week i started like doing some training you know i didn't take any time i was like put, usually played on you're good so yeah. the yeah. infection what, what really screwed us so then after the second surgery i had to just be on a whole bunch of infection pills and pills or whatever for like a month and uh you know, make sure but it looks like now i've been doing x-rays like every couple weeks and it works good so nice yeah get nice. after it now i feel like I'm over the hump finally. Yeah. So. Well, how, how fun is it to be riding stock bikes at it's a crazy. beautiful place like this in Italy? It's insane. Yeah, they uh, they were kept trying to set this up, and it was, at first it was like on a race weekend, so I was like, no way. And then finally they're like, all right, well, anyways, then I got hurt, so I was like, I'll come no matter what. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so this Italy, wow, beautiful countryside, <laughs> trees. The track is epic. It's uh, like what, growing up as a kid, I feel like in New York I rode stuff like this kind of a bit hard, a few ruts some uphills, downhills, so yeah. it's just a pleasure. And then I get to ride any bike I want. So, so cool, huh? 250, 350, 450, and just keep switching it up and seeing uh, what's better on each of them. And uh, dude, that's, it's such a blast. That's cool. Yeah. So what do you think you could learn from, like, is there anything you could take away from riding stock bikes that'll help you set up your bike for? Like... I, yes, I, I always think it's good to ride stock. We don't ride stock bikes a lot, but yeah. um, last, maybe this no last year before outdoors i rode a stock bike for a couple weeks yeah and you just learn kind of how the chassis works yeah and so i think that's super important a lot of times that doesn't happen we just go on a factory bike and yeah. you don't really know what you have what what you should have under you maybe so this totally. is yeah you can pick pick stuff apart and feel stuff and uh honestly like i like stock bikes so just just ring apart. it out yeah. yeah it's a good time so what about the 350 you talked about earlier you're gonna jump on it was it good <laughs> so fun really yeah and i think on this track it's like the perfect cross between the 250 and 450. Like you have the hills, so 250, you need more power up the hills. And then the 450, it's hard pack, so out of the corners you kind of break loose a little. Yeah. So the 350, it's like just a mix of the perfect power and traction ratio. And uh, yeah, there's something to that. It's quite fun. That's cool. <laughs> what about uh, like the revability and like for you, is it, I mean, you could just do whatever Man, you want, it right? It pulls so hard. Like the, you, yeah, it's like, that the power band it doesn't seem like it ever yeah. cuts off so you just bah, 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 through the gears and i just like out of the i think the best thing is out of the corners for me yeah. like compared to the four, stock 450 and stock 350 it's like 450 i have to kind of like let off let it roll and then try to get on it and yeah. control that traction with the 350 you just power thin smooth and then it's rip nice it and on. it just goes so yeah it's quite um impressive yeah. that, if i was like just a local guy, 350 all day long. That's what I try to tell everybody. Dude, I don't, there's, so I, there's no, I mean, if if you're racing, like, I guess if you just want to say you have a 450, but there's yeah. just no, 
no reason really. 350 yeah. is epic. Yeah, and there's so many people that just buy the 450 because of the numbers. It's like, yeah. what's the biggest bike? I'm a big guy. I want I want the best bike, you know. I mean, uh, yeah, I guess people are like, oh, it's got a lot of power. I can just kind of roll around and get yeah. the gas up the hill. But I don't know. For me, I like riding hard. So Harder, yeah, 350. exactly. Get I mean, workout. yeah, I guess a local guy, he maybe not want to. I don't want to push it that hard. He just wants to cruise around on 450, and that's cool. But yeah. if you want to send it, you get yourself a 350 and yeah. smoke the 450, guys. Have you been to Italy before? Oh, I. It's been a while. I've been to Alpine Stars before cool. and uh, all that stuff. So uh, have you yeah. ridden here before? Um, no, I've never ridden here before nice. in, anywhere in the country. So this is uh, like you. You wouldn't think this is here. Like we were down in the town in the bottom, drive yeah. up this mountain, and then you're like, wow. It's pretty sick of, yeah it's really cool it's impressive they're telling me some history about this place it's been here for a long time and, that's cool um super super impressive track and they do they're doing a good job they prepped it for us good yeah. and a little little wet in this morning but it's it's good to get some good ruts and uh yeah i, I love europe in general i was like post stuff on my instagram like i hadn't stopped at like truck stop on the way here had like a better coffee than i had in america right. <laughs> forever so yeah they just they just do it right over here they do it how i like it good food good coffee and yeah. they're passionate about motorcycles and they like cycling you like cycling dude i mean maybe i need to move to italy yeah exactly <laughs> exactly all right what about uh like what's it been like on the sidelines like we asked tomac the question Hey, what's it been like? What, like, did you watch? Did you not watch? Like, we got to ask you the same what question. What do you say? I, I didn't get to. I seen clips, but I didn't get to watch it all. He said that at first he didn't watch a couple races. He was he was uh, like bummed out, yep. and then he was depressed, and then he started watching again. And, we're all the same. And he was impressed with, with Lawrence. So. Yeah, we're all the same. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, I was like at first after the, the first after Supercross, I was like I can't watch. I was just watching the YouTube. I mean, I I had to. Yeah. To see like what, we'll was see what happened. Yeah. I had to see what was going on. So I was watching the YouTubes. And then once outdoor started, first race, I was kind of like, ah, I'm not going to watch. And then I was like, all right, I need to see what's going on. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Like Eli, I did see his clip about like Jet. He's super impressed. And to win, I don't care if there's nobody there yeah. or everybody there. Yeah. To win a 450 race and I mean, to be going straight so far, winning all those races, yeah. you got to say it's impressive. Yeah. Um, yeah, I could sit here and go, if I was there, it would be a different story. Yeah. But uh, no, it's, it's super impressive. And I think, uh, yeah, dude, I mean, he's a good racer. He's yeah. a champion for a reason. So, yeah, he's doing really good. Um, I wish everyone was back racing. It would be, I mean, let's be honest, it would be different. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I mean, life is life, and life. that's how it is. It's and, motocross, yeah. Yeah. Hopefully he doesn't build too much confidence. <laughs> but yeah, Supercross will be sick. Um, and obviously we still have Super Motocross. I don't technically know when I'm coming back yet. Yeah. I know fly home Saturday, get home Sunday, um, chill at family Monday, fly to California, do some testing, nice. and see where we're at. You know, I've ridden. I can ride 30 minutes, sure. Yeah. Can I hammer 30 minutes yet? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, all I did while I was injured was like lower body some yeah. bicycles so I, I turned into a cyclist again yeah. which that was cool what you like yeah i saw my like my numbers go up and i was getting strong i'm probably fitter than i was but i lost so much muscle yeah like honestly it's quite I, I worked so hard this year to get like a strong upper body and um i got on the scale after my second surgery and it was devastating <laughs> i literally like almost 10 pounds of muscle wow yeah that's crazy yeah i was that was it kind of made me really sad because i worked super hard in yeah. the season and, and you're probably naturally a skinny guy that doesn't put muscle exactly on like right? my legs i don't have big legs i you know i don't have big upper body i just have strong core and i'm kind of like cyclist yeah. body so i worked really hard on a new training program with my trainer and we got super strong and it showed in super cross i was a strong guy and then to lose all that but it'll come back obviously but yeah will it come back for, for the next round the next couple yeah. rounds no it's going to be a war but that's why we do this yeah we, we love it and we love suffering i guess yeah <laughs> you and know? you kind of have to if you're going to race motocross you're getting roosted from the start you know unless I you're just, leading i just said that i was out there and i got roosted a couple of times there's some rocks and i was like wow <laughs> that's the only thing maybe i didn't miss was the roost yeah. but uh and you don't have the adrenaline today to keep you no going. adrenaline i literally got roosted up the hill and i just went like this chopped the throttle oh, yeah off yeah. the side i was like ah, dead <laughs> arm <laughs> what about this triple right here it's uh it's it, pretty two, impressive 250 two huh? two no chance 350s it's cool because you just like i said you square oh, it and everything you seat bounce land it perfect yeah 450 easy nice so uh it's cool they're like they were saying they were making a joke like tony came and he said no we don't do the triple what yeah that's what he said i was like no i don't know he didn't yeah. maybe it must have been different yeah it yeah. must have been different so uh no it's cool it's a 
it's fun. Like this truck's super flowy. You go up, down, and then it doesn't have like that's what I like about Euro trucks. The jumps aren't crazy. Yeah. Everybody, everybody can do these jumps, and they're fun. Yeah, and they're fun, and they're safe. And I think sometimes in America we get a little crazy. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know somebody who has a pretty inspiring track with some pretty crazy jumps. I mean, I mean, yeah, I'm talking. talking yeah. Oh, Who's the one to talk here? <laughs> I'm talking crap right now, but I did. I have my track now. There's only one scary double. Really? So, okay. Yeah, yeah. I've made it. I had a B ride from MTF and Big Brian come out and re rebuild me out their yeah. track, and it's more. But it's your personal track, so you can do whatever you want. True. You're not, you're not yeah. signing up. But I wanted to people ride. to come ride now, so I like I had a camp and everybody, no one died. Yeah, that's so, good. That's important. <laughs> no one took an ambulance ride, which I was super happy about. Yeah, so, that's cool. Uh, yeah, there's a time like back. I mean, back in the day, growing up in MTF, we had the stupidest jumps ever. It was so much. I mean, we loved that. Yeah. Like it's a thrill. But as you get older, you just like this track. To me, like this tabletop, you drop down the hill. Yeah. It's. It's just the one. What about the one where you're like turning and then you launch and then you that launch down the hill? Oh, dude, we have my Jack, my buddy, got some such good shots. It's That's uh, cool. you just go down the hill and then you come up and you can just wide open and just crank it and yeah. launch like this. One of those where you can just land as far as you want. That's uh, that's cool. Yeah, it's that's a cool. badass track and Gas Gas doing a good job. They're uh, impressive bikes and impressive crew and it's yeah. cool to have us out here. And what about uh, how many tracks have you ridden in Europe? Besides, like, you've raced I mean, the Nations. Yeah, the, nation, the Nations probably, what, three, four times, and every time we always come over early, so maybe one or two practice tracks. So yeah. probably, I mean, maybe... Six or seven yeah, times. Yeah, six, seven times. Cool. And, uh, like, they're all, always all very, quite similar. Like, you know, maybe not this much elevation, but yeah. the jumps are always safe for everybody, and um, it's natural. So yeah. growing up in New York, it was quite similar, like, this style of natural terrain, and... Uh, so this, like I said, I was riding out there and sometimes you get that like feeling and it's like it brought back some memories. I was like, this is cool. Uh, yeah. And I was thinking like, I don't know, I'm getting older kind of and I have a kid now and stuff. So I'm like, uh, I won't be going this fast, jumping down these hills maybe forever, but that's probably a lie. I probably will. Yeah. So kind of, kind of psychopath. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's epic. I love this stuff. What about, uh, when, like, when are you thinking about returning and what's your goal? What's your hopes? What's your ideas? <sighs> you know, it's like. At this point, there's no rush. Yeah. Do I want to race 100%? My team, you know, they've been <laughs> they've been patient with the whole situation because it was like, all right, we're back. I rode one day and then another, you know, week off surgery. Oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was like it's just been this kind of roller coaster of like we don't really know. Yeah. So and that's that's been tough. But yeah, we're all on the same page of let's just see how things go. But now this is like I said, this is about like seven seven days on five six seven days on the bike um go to california after this do some testing because yeah. i mean i don't feel the need to test really but they feel like they've improved, improved stuff yeah. improved stuff so uh, i'm always open to try some stuff i'll go to california for a few days and and, and then then, it, then we have a, a week before unadilla so if i can race unadilla that would be epic because you know kind of like home hometown race for sure um expectation i don't i won't have any expectation obviously we're idiots and we put pressure on ourselves and I'll be like, I want to, obviously I want to go out there and do really well, but yeah, realistically just go out there and yeah. get seat time before the super motocross. Super motocross. That's why I was thinking how important it is to get out there on the track before I that. think, I think it's important. Yeah. yeah. In my, in my, in my head, it's like go to the a couple motocross if I can get some seat time, you know, like dude, my hands went soft. Like <laughs> I need to toughen up. Yeah. yeah I've been at sure. home. I haven't been sitting, I haven't been sitting on the couch, but I haven't been able to, do anything to make me tough so maybe i need to go home split some wood and, yeah yeah and toughen up so cool. hopefully a few outdoors and super motocross what about the win at uh in new jersey was it new jersey yeah. yep. Yep. Uh, like how how does that help your mindset for the rest of the year knowing like because you had you know what three wins in yeah. a row at anaheim one and then that one in houston yeah uh how how good does it feel just to like knock that off it's not the opening round of the series oh it's nice yeah i mean and it wasn't I mean, I, it was muddy. It was, it was muddy. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, but it's just like what we talked about with Lawrence out. It's, it's yeah, muddy it's for everybody. Same, no matter what, yeah. same, same, same. Um, yeah, I mean, I, man, I, I, and that wasn't even the highlight of my season really. It was the consistency. Yeah. I was putting podiums together and yeah. for Nashville, I was in that position again and yeah. shit happens. So, um, but all in all, it was just the consistency of the bike myself and like just was a very comfortable, I was in a comfortable place, so I feel coming back, 
don't beat myself up if I'm not, you know, where I want to be because no, I'm not going to be where I want to be. I'm, yeah. sh I'm sure. Yeah. Um, could I mean, I mean, I'll have speed, obviously, but yeah, I, mean, who, who, I don't know. Who knows? But yeah, um, yeah just uh, live off that, you know, cool. confidence from when I was out there and, and just keep moving forward and keep my head up. And I know it's a good motorcycle and the team will get me back to where I need to be. Cool. Well, it's fun to see you out here. Thanks for your Thanks. time. Yeah. Fun to see you on stock bikes. Yeah, it's a good time and good to have all you guys out here. I was I honestly didn't know who, if, I thought it was just going to be Euro, so yeah. got some Americans to talk to. It's Representing. Nice. Yeah, buddy. I like it. Thank you. Thanks.